just like within people, dental hygiene is critical as far as longevity of the, the health of the pet. So today we're going to be doing a professional dental cleaning where we're going to be placing Wakita under a general anesthesia and doing uh, professional dental cleaning. And there's about 12 steps involved in a professional dental cleaning. Some of these will be done while the pet's awake, which is doing a thorough um, oral examination. We'll be doing a very thorough examination under general anesthesia. And then we'll be cleaning the teeth, which includes cleaning the crown and subgingivally. Then after the pet's awake and everything, and when Wakita goes home, well, I'll be talking to Miss Effort as far as cleaning, as far as what to be doing at home after we're done with this procedure. So there will be some suggestions as far as oral hygiene products that we can use, diets, and also appropriate chew toys that this pet can use as far as chewing. And when Wakita goes home, be able to give mommy a lot of kisses without that yucky doggy breath. This is Wakita Eford, and this is Ty Eford. Wakita is going to be having a dental cleaning today. And the first thing that I like to start off with is doing a thorough oral examination. What we like to try to do is kind of check facial symmetry and filling the muzzle below the eyes, making sure we don't feel any unusual swellings, checking out the TMJ joints and the muscles of the jaws here to make sure everything's working good. And then finally, we flip the lip. By flipping the lip, which is what I like to have most pet owners do at home, is get the pet used to opening their mouths. And this can start off as when they're a puppy. So this should be a reversible stage of periodontal disease that we're having here. I would put this probably at a stage one periodontal disease, meaning that we do have some inflammation within the gums, what we call gingivitis. And Wakita has been pre-medicated with a medication to kind of relax us a little bit and another medication to kind of dry up the saliva so we're not drooling so much. So the second part of the 12 steps of the professional dental cleaning is the examination under general anesthesia. And so what I'll be doing is probing using a periodontal probe. This probe has measurements um, starting to the first black mark is 3 millimeters, 6 millimeters, 9, and then 12. It goes to the very top of the black line there. And so I'll be placing this into the sulcus, probing gently, seeing if there's any pockets. And my more thorough examination will be done after the cleaning. So overall, I don't see anything real major, except for the early stages of periodontal disease. And we'll start cleaning these teeth up, and we'll evaluate this a little closer after we get the scaling done. And that brings us to the third step of the 12 steps of the professional cleaning. And that's what we call super gingival cleaning. And that's from uh, what we're actually able to see, which is the crown portion of the tooth. And that's the third step. This is the reveal solution, disclosing solution, and this is to check see if we have any plaque. And then you're going to see that it is taking up some stain, but we're going to rinse it, a light rinse on it. And if anything is stained behind, then that's an area that we need to focus a little bit more on our cleaning. So then we'll lightly rinse this. Next step, the oral vet, it's very important to have this mouth completely dry. It allows it to bond to the surface of the enamel, and that is a plaque prevention treatment that is followed up with home treatments done on a weekly basis. So the Orvet is placed into the gun here. There's a couple ways of applying the product, and I'm kind of more of a polisher. I like to polish it into the surface of the tooth. And normally we'll treat the outside of the teeth, unless when I'm doing the cleaning, that I notice that there is a lot of tartar buildup on the inside, then I'll actually apply it to the inside of the teeth as well. But definitely the Orvet will help with the plaque prevention there. Starting off with home care, this is what we consider the gold standard 
as far as like in a person's mouth is brushing the pet's teeth. Normally starting off we can use a finger brush that are soft bristles. Again this toothpaste is an enzymatic toothpaste and this is happens to be a poultry flavor and this is one that's we find it has the best palatability for most of the pets. And so it's more of a circular motion right along the gum line. And that's where the plaque is lying, is right in those areas, in the, those crevices. Um, my big thing is that if you're buying 12 for a dollar, then you're probably getting too good of a deal with your rawhide. Um, this uh, is one that is flat. It's bendable. Um, if the dog is to bite onto it and start um, chewing on this, this will soften up and it's not going to fracture their teeth because it is bendable and, and flexible. Orvet is a product that is a plaque prevention. It's a waxy-like material that we professionally applied on the dental cleaning that we did earlier today. And it's to prevent the plaque from adhering to the surface of the teeth. This product is very easy to use. Most pet owners, um, if they know their pet very well, I recommend just using your finger when applying this medication. They do have these sponge tip applicators that you can use. These sponge tip applicators is dabbed into the, the material and you can kind of see that it's very waxy looking and more or less it's just rubbing it right along the gum line. And it will actually seek out the other Oravet that was professionally applied and re-adhere to that to build up these waxy layers. And as time goes through the week, these waxy layers will shed and then you reapply these waxy layers on a weekly basis. Well, thank you, Ms. Eford, for coming in today. Just a quick recap of what we did today is we had a professional dental cleaning done on Wakita. We cleaned not only the crown, but also subgingival, and that's where we were talking about in the exam room um, having some issues in pockets that are early stages. This is what I'd call a grade one periodontal disease. And so it's very critical as far as um, home care, brushing the pet's teeth, and once a week applying the Oravet. And I think we'll definitely have this mouth turned around, and we'll recheck you in about 10 to 14 days to see how the home care is coming and how the teeth are doing and how over, overall gums are doing. So looks like Wakita's ready to go. We're wagging our tail, and you enjoy that fresh breath, okay?